Okay, boys, so we're at the QJE PS30 SWIV once again. 30 amp power supply. And uh, this is supposed to run on 220 volts AC. Will not run on 110, that I've since found out. Anywho, so, uh, another viewer on my channel commented on my second update video. That all I had really got to do is look at the switching power supply of a computer power supply to see how to switch in the 220 or 110 volt uh, switch on the back from you can select either 220 or 110 to make these things work. Uh, the select either voltage. And basically, it's got to do between the bridge rectifier, which is this far here, and the two uh, filter caps, which are right here. And basically what's going on um, to run 220 on this on this switching power supply on the board or whatever if it can do it I don't know if it can do it I got no idea if it can do it I can't even find a schematic for this thing so I'm going to just blindfold it but anyway so basically we got your bridge rectifier you got your four leads two AC one DC or Two AC and one mag negative, one positive DC. Going out to the rest of the circuit, blah, blah, blah. Now, on the 220 volt uh, switch, basically what happens is one side of the 220 volt AC continues on to the um, center of the in-series uh, power uh, filter cap right here. So basically, this is a... <laughs> The same thing, only with a lot of uh, circuitry removed, but basically this is it. You get a 220 volts AC, goes into the bridge rectifier, then you have your, your positive and you got your negative. So on the 220, basically all they've got to done, to get your 220, comes the bridge rectifier, one side of the rectifier continues on to the center of the two uh, filter caps and goes on to the rest of the circuitry inside the power supply. So, we have the two filter cap right here. And if this bridge rectifier is being used the same way as this, well, how do you do it to go from 110 to uh, 220 is basically on this trace, this part here, they either break it for 110, switch it off, or they switch it on for 220. So if this trace here exists in this power supply between this bridge rectifier and these two filter caps, there's a very good possibility I might be able to get this thing to run on 110 if it's designed like this. Again, cannot find a schematic for this thing, so I have no idea if this, if this idea here is going to work with this or not. But, we're going to pull this board out, and we're going to see exactly how it's done. Is, is it possible to do this? So, that's how we peek, shall we? Okay, so, I got the gut dripped out of her. <laughs> Trying to figure this thing out. So, um, the bridge rectifier sits right here, as you can see. The AC side is, uh, let me get a pencil here. AC side is right here in these two pins and the AC or the DC is on these two um, negative is on this side going to the filter positive going to the filter cap two combined here and a few components whatever but anyway I uh, followed the circuit the best I could without getting completely lost here and this is what I managed to come up with so we've got two fuses that's AC input two fuses cut the switch NTC resistor capacitor we got the toroid and then we've got two more caps we're in here and here going to chassis another capacitor here then it goes directly to the bridge rectifier AC AC then we got negative, positive, we got the uh, filter caps, 
one, two, these guys here, which is two, the two big ones. Uh, the positive goes on down to Q1, Q2. Diodes, but there's nothing jumping. The uh, AC is not is not going past the bridge rectifier. Not like um, the computer power supplies. Comes from here to the center of the uh, capacitor. The uh, this power supply is not uh, is not doing that. Now, in saying that, there is a on soldered connection right here. This is the center of the capacitor between the two of them. There is a solder joint here. It's not used, so. And as you can see, there's another solder joint right there. One here, one here. So you know what I'm wondering? Because it's not used here. There's a mark for it. And there's spots right on the other side of these capacitors down there underneath that black putty, epoxy, whatever. So, if that works for converting on a power supply for a uh, Computer power supply we're putting this wire in circuit either out in or out. Could it possibly work between here and here to allow the power supply to work on 110? Is that a possibility? Between here and here. Which technically is the same thing from here to here or from negative to there or what am I saying from the AC to the center AC side to the center ponder that for a minute there folks I'm going to open this as uh, Episode 3 of this, or Series 3, or whatever you want to call it, video, Part 3, of the QJE PS30SW uh, IV. Ponder that for a moment. I got my trusty little Variac here. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see uh, what you got to say in the comments below. Is it possible to convert just QJE PS30 SWIV to 110? Is it possible? Not sure.